Five has been committing extra time during our newscasts to vital questions on local ballots. And the city of Clintonville's public school district asking voters an important question regarding funding. Local 5's Eric Richards is in Clintonville with a look at this 2020 referendum, which, if passed, would provide millions of dollars for education. On November 3rd, voters in Wapaka County will have an opportunity to vote on the 2020 Clintonville referendum. First, we started this process long before the, the pandemic even was upon us. Here is what the district is asking for. $37 million in order to add a new middle school. They would also renovate the existing middle school and develop it as a new elementary school. They also would like to create a north side campus for all public schools to be in one location and sell off the Rexford Longfellow School so the property could be used for other projects. You may be wondering how any of this is possible without an increase in taxes or additional taxes here in Clintonville. It really comes down to, to three major proponents of the referendum. The first part is um, our high school, which was passed in 2000, is falling off. The debt is. Therefore, you can capitalize on that debt that's falling off. The interest rates are quite low. Um, as you know, the lower interest payments you have, the less taxing authority you need. Um, and a third part of it is we do have favorable uh, general aid estimates from the state. The district says that this is a referendum that is much needed for the community. This is about uh, needs over wants, and most importantly, it really sets things up for the next 20 years. In Clintonville, Eric Richards, Local 5 News.